all right everybody so today i'm going to be showing you uh, guys how to disassemble the anycubic i3 mega this is my anycubic i3 mega that i've already made a few mods with as you can see uh, i have the roll stand up here made a little guide down here for the filament uh, makeshifted uh, kind of uh, direct drive extruder it's not really a direct drive extruder is instead a short bowden tube extruder it's been working really well actually uh, it was made just with a little metal plate and um, yeah well uh, I had to extend this cord right here from the back here where it's where it used to be from there to on top of the hot end well the problem i found with this one it's it gets you know a bit too tall and um i didn't have a problem with it yet but it might turn into a, a problem if you um want to uh print you know really high parts it's not it never happened to me yet but you know so today i'm going to disassemble everything <clears throat> i'm going to be installing a dual, dual drive extruder a direct extruder with the um, v6 all metal hot end and um yeah i've made this um, guide as well it it doesn't touch the um the frame so it's working perfectly <clears throat> but I believe um, as I lower the um, the hot end, this bracket will be bolted down here. So I'll get a few more centimeters of uh, clearance. Anyway, so uh, today I'm going to be disassembling it, showing you guys um, how I did it. How I do it, and um, I'm not saying that this is the way to do it. It's just another way of doing it. Um, okay, so let's do it. So now I'm going to remove this bolt and this bolt, which is, if I'm not mistaken, a 2.5 uh, X um, key. And um, so it's these two for now, and two in the back, one here one on the opposite side so yeah let's start removing that so uh, now those four screws are removed it's the two on top here and two in the back there it's um, from behind and uh, as you can see there's another one there on the opposite side so now i'm going to be removing these um, plugs um, make note that this one is for the part cooling this one is for the hot end cooling this is for the thermistor and this is for the heating element as you can see there that's exactly what it is so yeah now i'm going to and probably i'll be removing these two bolts here as well so i can take the pcb out well, maybe it's not two, it's four actually. And removing the plug up there. I'll be removing this plug as well. Well, basically the only thing that's going to stay here, it will be the back plate. Okay, but let's move in steps. So, so far I've re removed the um, stock hot hand. It's, you know, it's a um, working perfectly but the thing is uh, the way it's set up it's not optimal for um, printing nylon for instance because there's a Bowden tube inside of here and the temperature the optimal temperature to print nylon it's um, more or less the same as this um, Teflon tube starts to melt so it's not uh, the the best printer as it is as it sits it's not the best printer to print nylon or um other more um 
uh, stiff materials, I guess. Well, so yeah, I removed these uh, four bolts up here. These ones were holding this um, C clamp that uh, it was uh, holding this uh, hot end in place, just uh, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to be removing the um, the motor there, the extruder, and this uh, bracket here. And uh, yeah, so I'll remove everything except for the back plate for now. And then we'll see from there what uh, needs to be done so I can go ahead and install the new setup.